friends, and welcome to the Scott Cole Radio Show. That's right, brought to you every day from my vehicle. Why? Because I can. And this episode is brought to you by me. That's right, there is no sponsor because I just started this today. So let's see how this goes. So what is on the plan for the agenda today? Well, it's a Wednesday, and I do not have to work today. I'm trying to help out my place of employment by taking today off so that way I can work overnight Saturday into Sunday. Yes, I know it um, is not the greatest shift in the entire world, but if it keeps me in good favor with everybody else, I'll do it. And besides, I don't mind. I like to help, and that's what I do. You guys all know that, those that know me really well. So, because I have the day off, I am going to do some video on my trip to the Magic Kingdom. This is the route that I take every time that I'm going there. Uh, actually, it's the same route I take to any of the Disney parks. Um, so, what you're seeing off over this way is the high school um, football area uh, and soccer. Um, it's also their practice field and stuff like that because the high school gave in to five individuals who said that the noise over by the high school would be too much when there's football games. So they had to build it over in this area. Off to this side, you see one very nice walkway um, that's paved. I actually go walking on this with Miss Bella, and it's very entertaining um, just for the simple fact that it's walk, drop, walking through here and there's lots of activity. You can see different cars, um, plus lots and lots of different people early in the morning. Um, so this is, uh, I think, Fiquette Road. I'm not sure. Yes, Fiquette. That's F-I-C-Q-U-E-T-T-E. -E. Um, it is a back road into Disney. They should have made this thing a lot wider, but this is also what happens when you have multiple developers and a county that does not things consistent and they let people get away with whatever they want. Uh, for those that live down here, you know that's true. Uh, and everything. Uh, but uh, we're coming up to this lovely interchange that is a pain in the neck. I'm actually surprised that somebody hasn't gotten killed over here. Um, it takes me to Reams Road. Reams is actually the back road to Disney, so we're going to turn right here, and you'll notice that it's really, really quick as somebody is trying to cut me off, um, and all. And if you're coming through here late at night or you're drunk, you are going to end up in these trees, because this is how hard and quick it really is. Uh, I am tired. I have been through here, and it is a pain in the neck, um, so... When Disney was fully open, you did not go on this road at seven o'clock in the morning. You avoided this road at all costs. Um, and the same goes for at five o'clock at night when they're doing shift change because it's nearly impossible to get anywhere out of Disney uh, or to get on this road. So imagine me trying to go to work because I lived in the apartments back over this way and I'll show you those here in a second. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, you know, so um, you look over to the right there. I've got it angled just a little bit. You see all the blue sky. Yes, it is blue down here. It is very nice. But if you look, you'll you can't see anything. But that is where the fireworks go off for uh, Magic Kingdom. Now, interesting fact. They actually sell these homes with that view in mind. Uh, they put it up on their uh, websites. They have it in their uh, brochures. I mean, it 
it's amazing. When those fireworks are going on a regular basis, every night you had a fireworks show over there. And uh, it was cool. Um, I enjoyed it. Miss Bella, she couldn't stand it. She would go hide under my bed because it would really scare her. And I think it hurt her ears, but I'm not sure. But she just would go hide under the bed. And now we've got otters. That's right, we have otters crossing the road. I don't know how well that turned out on the picture, but I mean, that's something that you see down here quite often. And they're actually kind of cute and, uh, and funny to watch. Um, I'm not used to that one yet. So, um, I'm gonna angle this off to the right here a little bit so you can see the apartment complex that I lived in. This is Windermere K, very, very nice apartments. Um, I lived on the second floor, had a great balcony view that I could go to, and now you are seeing Disney. And I do mean when I say I live close, yeah, I'm turning on the Disney property right now. This is what I got to see. Now this was under construction when I was first here, and you couldn't go this way, but it was awesome to watch um, because they did this with diligence and made it awesome. If you look over this way, I'm trying to tilt it a little bit. It may not be the greatest view, but you can see the spires of Cinderella's castle. So this takes you on the back side of Disney. Uh, why is this important? Because in the future, this is going to be the main road for getting in and out of Disney. They're gonna restrict traffic on the back roads um, for safety and security and I completely get it uh, the back roads literally are right there by Disney I mean it's it's freaky that they've actually let people still drive back there um, and all it's actually quite cool when you get to do it um, and all so but the other reason I come this way is because you get to see the construction on the new bridge that they're building and um, their, uh, their plans through here. So what they're going to do is, see, i got to get over because the arrows are pointing up ahead that I have to merge over. Uh, because I don't need to turn into the fire station as much as I would really like to. You guys all know that. Um, and one of these days I will. But you go through here and it's now back to a two lane road, which that's the only way that was to get through here. Well, they're going to widen, the widen, widen this um, to have two lanes, basically make it like a divided highway, um, which really needs to happen. Um, because this gets a lot of traffic, especially when Disney is full up and running. There is going to be a lot more traffic and they need to have other avenues for people to get in and out of here. I am stopping at the light. I'm not going to be silly and pay attention that I'm recording um, and all, but you can see over here, that's Disney parking for cast members for the Grand Floridian. I'm gonna take this off for a minute so you can see there's the Glen Floridian. This is the only way to the Glen Grand Floridian from back here um, and from the front of the parks. All right, green light again, here we go. Uh, that's for the convention center, which they have a lot of stuff, but because of COVID, it's shut down a lot of things, but they're, uh, they're getting back in groove and trust me, when they get back 100%, this will be amazing. Um, so there's the Grand Floridian entrance that everybody goes to. And off to the right over here is one of Disney's mini golf courses, which is really cool. I don't golf, but I do like to look at it. It's uh, It's got a unique design to it. Um, there's usually lots of people. And hey, I get to see a monorail today. Um, I don't know if that showed up in the video, but I got to see it. it makes me happy. Um, 
I am working on this. It's kind of a practice video. We are calling this Scott Radio. Why? Because I'm nuts and silly and you guys like that. Yes. All right. So I'm trying to keep it entertaining. I uh, just drove by the Polynesian, which we're gonna go back to here in a little bit, but I wanna show you the construction down here just because I want you to see the grand scale of what Disney does on a regular basis. They don't do small projects. I'm sure they do, but I mean, and let's be honest, this is Disney. Disney likes to do lots of things. So right here you can see construction. They are putting in a new road. Uh, and bridge, you can see the crane. Um, we haven't really received a whole lot of what's going on through here, but it looks like it's gonna be two lanes and that this road's gonna go away um, because they're gonna have that big bridge. Um, and then this is the entrance over to the stay of the golf course. But they're, they're doing it to make ease of uh, traffic through everything. Look at this thing. That thing is huge. That is huge. They've got more road construction over here. So, you know, it's going to be really cool to see when they're done. Um, and all. Uh, merging over. But see, this area over here used to be the, um, the raceway for, uh, uh, NASCAR. They used to have a uh, NASCAR experience over here, but they took that out uh, so that they could work on the uh, traffic. Disney World is is definitely a resort, but Disney World is actually a city. There, there is no way in the world that you could run something like this without it being um, a, a city. Uh, they do just as much road construction as a city. They do as much policing and stuff as a city. I mean, it's amazing. Uh, they employ tons of people. And when COVID finally gets over with, they can have full staffing again. The traffic I'm in right now is gonna be considered light to almost non-existent uh, once the parks are fully open again. Um, I'm actually surprised that the traffic isn't a little heavier right now um, with it being Easter week. Um, so, when we come down here, we do our turnaround. And as you can see, I got a couple buses and stuff coming, but they've got this so engineered very well that you don't have to wait. It's not like doing a Michigan Yui where you gotta wait for somebody. No, you, it's it's full on, hit the gas and go. Um, so, you're gonna see this over here again, but you can see where you're gonna have a, a, a way to split this. And, uh, and all. there's the Magic Kingdom entrance. I should go try it, but I don't have a reservation for today. Um, and you have to have a reservation in order to get into anything. So, yeah, I know, kind of sucks, doesn't it? So, but we're going up over here, but you can see there's the new road over that way. This this one here that I'm on was just finished when I shortly moved down here. Um, so they're always thinking ahead. They're always doing things. And that's what I love about this place. Um, it's always a unique experience, no matter when I come down, um, you know. Uh, over to the right, you can see the monorail going to Epcot. They have that shut down right now. Um, they say because of social distancing. I'm not 100% certain of that. I think there's other reasons. They might be refurbing some stuff and just haven't said anything about it it might be minor enough that they're having or they might be having issues i don't know but i do miss seeing the monorails going back and forth and i'm looking at the parking lot for magic kingdom right now and it looks almost non-existent um so uh maybe i wish i could have gotten in there but no i can't because i'm blocked out yeah 
Um, I wish I wasn't blocked out because I would have gone there at like nine o'clock this morning so I can get my exercise. But we're gonna try something today and see if we can get uh, some exercise done here on the property. Um, I'm on my way to the Polynesian because I wanna see the construction over there. Uh, so what they did at the Polynesian is they ripped out everything in the front. Um, they're going through the Polynesian Resort and turning it into basically uh, Moana's hometown. Uh, because of the movie and the success of that movie, they are doing a lot of renovations over there and they're doing a lot of work. They're redoing the monorail station and stuff like that. Orange County Sheriff's helping with traffic. Those individuals are awesome. They do a lot of help for Disney. Um, their presence keeps things uh, calm and good, and my salute to them, very much so. But, all right, I'm getting ready to pull in, so I'm gonna shut this off, and I'll start another video here in a minute. But that was the construction on the road by Disney. So, catch you guys in a little bit.